Hi, I'm Bryony. Welcome to Yoga with Bryony. And today's practice is going to be a birthday flow. So if it's your birthday today, many happy returns of the day. And if it's not, who cares? Just enjoy this amazing, refreshing, revitalizing flow. And also, if you'd like to support free, good quality online yoga videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so if you're ready to start, slowly roll out your yoga mat and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start the practice today, an extended child posture. So bringing the big two toes to touch, knees as wide as the mat. Bring the palms to the ground, spread the fingers out wide. Feel that amazing connection with your palms and the mat. And then when you're ready, we're going to slowly walk the palms forwards. And we're going to inhale in, slowly draw a line with our nose, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhaling very mindfully and lovingly, slowly sending the hips back, coming into extended child's pose, Utita Balasana. So you can either bring the forehead to the mat. If it doesn't come to the mat, it doesn't matter. You can make fists here. So make a pillow with your fists and rest your forehead gently on the fists. Or you can make a, a hand pillow here. Or if you prefer, you can come into child posture or you can come into a seated position. So whichever feels good for you. Okay, so just take a moment here to arrive into your space. Feeling the support of the mat beneath you and the connection to Mother Earth. Feeling that connection with your hands and the mat, the tops of the feet and the shins and your forehead. And take a moment here to let go. Softening through the shoulders, the tongue, the mouth, the jaw. And letting go of anything that you no longer need. and gently start noticing your beautiful breath. So as you inhale, create expansion within the body. And as you exhale, soften the shoulders down. Inhale to create more space. Exhaling to find softness, perhaps breathing out through the mouth. Inhale to find expansion. Exhaling softness. And just take a moment here to be. I'm putting whatever you have to do after this practice politely on hold. And slowly start coming into the present moment. Allowing yourself to practice self-love and self-care. On your beautiful birthday flow. And take a moment to give thanks for this moment. and give thanks for beautiful and amazing you. Okay, so when you're ready, pressing into your palms and the forearms, tops of the feet and the shins, we're gonna inhale, slowly lift the head up, draw a line with our nose and look up, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, feeling that beautiful connection between the palms and the mat. 
And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale, slowly come forwards, drawing a line with our nose and slowly looking up towards the sky. Exhaling, pressing into your foundation, drawing the chin towards the chest, navel to spine, curling the tailbone under, coming into cat. And taking a moment here to connect to the breath. Breathing into the back body, creating expansion. Exhaling, softening the face. Inhale to create expansion. Exhaling, softness. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to inhale in, exhaling one more time, sending the hips back towards the heels, coming to extended child posture, Uttita Balasana. Forearms and forehead come to the mat. One more time, feeling that beautiful connection with the palms and the mat. Spread the fingers out wide and just take a moment here to celebrate your beautiful life. And really feel this posture. and embody this experience, this time with yourself and your breath. Okay, so when you're ready, pressing into the tops of the feet, the shins, the forearms, the palms, we're gonna come forward one more time. Slowly look up towards the sky, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Exhaling, pressing into your foundation, drawing chin to chest, navel to spine. Still softening through the tongue, the face and the mouth. And taking a moment here to let go. Okay, slowly bring the head back to centre. We're going to bring the knees directly underneath the hips. We're going to come into tabletop. So wrists are directly underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers up wide. Find that clawing motion with your fingers here. Elbow creases are shining forwards. Upper arm bones are rotating out. Tuck the chin in slightly. Draw navel to spine, so engage the lower abdominal muscles. And sending the crown of the head towards the front of the mat and the tailbone towards the back. Pressing into the tops of the feet. Okay, and we're just gonna take a moment here to flex and extend the spine. Okay, so when you're ready, we're gonna inhale, drop the belly. Tailbone shines up towards the sky. Draw a line with your nose and look up. Coming into cow. Exhaling, rounding through. Drawing chin to chest, navel to spine. Press away from your foundation. Still softening through the tongue, the mouth and the jaw. One more time, inhale, drop the belly. Slowly look forwards, enjoy this move. This wave in your spine, look up. Exhaling, rounding through. And perhaps you can close your eyes here if you like to heighten the experience. Visualizing the space in between each vertebra. Okay, slowly come back to center, finding your neutral spine and then perhaps you'd like to take some hip circles here. You can either draw big circles and come all the way back to extended child posture or smaller circles, so whichever feels good for you today. Listen to your body. And really feel the movement within your body. Move like you love yourself. Breathe like you love yourself. And then reverse the circles. Still listening to the sound of your breath. Feeling that beautiful connection between the palms and the mat. The tops of the feet and the mat. And then perhaps if you like, you can walk the palms forwards. And you can inhale in, slowly lower the hips. Shine the heart and chest towards the sky. Look up. Exhaling, pressing away from your foundation, slowly sending the hips back into child posture. Inhale, slowly come forward. So find any organic movement here that feels good for you. 
feeling amazing in your body today and taking a moment here to celebrate your beautiful body and life. So just take a moment here to freestyle and take a moment here to discover your amazing body. Feel free in your body. Listen to your body. Listen to your inner teacher, your inner cues and find any movement that feels good for you today on your birthday flow. What an amazing time to be practicing yoga. And still listening to the sound of your breath. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly come back to centre. One more time, bring the big toes together. Knees as wide as the mat. We're going to press into the left palm. Find that clawing motion with your left fingers and we're slowly going to reach the right fingertips across the inside edge of the left arm, drawing lines across the arm, across the chest. Slowly reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Look up if that feels good for you. Exhaling, we're slowly going to paint a wall with our right hand. Fingertips come down and then rise up again. So we're just going to take a moment here to draw a big circle with our right hand. One more time, paint the wall behind you and this time perhaps sending the hips back. Inhale, sweeping the fingertips down, forwards and up. Exhaling, palm faces away from you, slowly sending the hips back. Gaze is looking back. Inhale, sweep the fingertips forwards, follow the fingertips with your gaze. Exhaling, palm goes back. Okay, great, good job. This time we're going to plant the right palm on the ground and we're going to inhale, reach the left fingertips across the inside edge of the right arm, across the chest and all the way up to the sky. Find that clawing motion with your right hand. Inhaling and exhaling. This time we're going to draw a circle with the left palm comes down behind us and we're going to inhale, sweep the left fingertips forwards and up. Look up if that feels good for you. Exhaling, paint the wall behind you, send the hips back. Inhale, sweep the fingertips down, forwards and up. Exhaling, paint the wall behind you. Okay, we'll just do it one more time. Inhale, reach up, really embody this full body experience, creating more space within your body. And take a moment here to celebrate your beautiful body. Okay, great, good job. So bring the left palm back to the mat, knees underneath the hips, and then we're going to walk the palms forwards. Feeling that beautiful connection one more time between the palms and the mat. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Curl the toes under. And then when you're ready, we're going to come into your birthday downward dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. So make this a really good downward dog, okay? So when you're ready, find that clawing motion with your fingers and we're going to inhale in, exhaling slowly, sending the hips back and up, coming into downward facing dog. Okay, so just take a moment here to pedal out the feet, pressing into both hands evenly, squaring the shoulders. And take a moment here to breathe into the backs of your legs. Perhaps you can look under opposite armpits. Take a moment here to smell your beautiful body and connect to you. Listening to the sound of your breath. One more time, moving like you love yourself. Take a moment here to celebrate your body and really create a full body experience. So really embody this posture. Feel the energy in this posture. Okay, so when you're ready, we're just going to bring the big toes in and the heels slightly out. So take a moment here to feel that internal rotation of the thighs, sending the sits bones left to right, opening up the back of the pelvis, the sacrum. Upper arm bones are rotating out. And just take a moment here to close the eyes or soften the gaze. And as you breathe in, breathe in love and peace and warmth into your body. And as you exhale, allow those amazing feelings to radiate out through your body. 
Okay, slowly bring the heels back to center. Then we're gonna cross the right foot over the left and the left foot over the right. And we're slowly gonna make our way up to the front of the mat, coming into forward fold, Uttanasana. So whichever you prefer, the feet can be hip width distance apart or together. So whichever feels good for you today in your body. Bend the knees as generously as you wish. And just take a moment here to release the weight of the head, the neck and the shoulders towards the earth. Letting go of any tension. Breathing into the backs of the legs. Allowing the blood to flow in the opposite direction. Perhaps your palms come to the mat or if they don't, perhaps the shins, the knees. So just find a comfortable position for you. Taking a moment here, one more time to let go. Okay, so when you're ready, we're gonna bend the knees, bring the belly to the top to the thighs, feeling that beautiful connection between the belly and the thighs. And when you're ready, we're gonna press into both feet evenly and we're gonna inhale in, exhaling. Slowly, we're gonna roll up into Tadasana, mountain posture, tracing lines across the fronts of your shins, across your thighs. And then when we come into Dadasana, we're gonna reach the fingertips up towards the sky, draw the shoulder blades down the back body, spread the fingers out wide, coming into your birthday Adva Hastasana. Feeling that beautiful connection between all four corners of the feet and the mat. And then when you're ready, we're gonna inhale slowly, come up onto the tiptoes. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the backs of the calves. And then when you're ready, we're gonna inhale in, exhaling slowly, lower the heels towards the mat and slowly fold forwards one more time, coming into Uttanasana. Inhale, press away from your foundation one more time. Slowly rise up one more time, reach the fingertips up towards the sky, come up onto the tiptoes and take a moment here to celebrate your beautiful body. Inhaling in, exhaling, soften and fold all the way down to the mat. Okay, so we just do that two more times because it feels so good. So inhale, rise up. Finding a beautiful wave in the spine. Fingertips reach up towards the sky. Press into the tiptoes. Inhale in, exhaling, soften and fold. Okay, so last time. So when you're ready, press into both feet evenly. Belly comes to the tops of the thighs. We're gonna inhale, slowly rise up. Reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Send the shoulder blades down the back body. Exhaling this time, palms come together. Exhaling, heels come to the mat. We're gonna come down through the midline, forward fold. Okay, inhale this time, slide the hands to the tops of the thighs, find your halfway lift. Find length through the spine, sending the crown of the head towards the front of the mat, tailbone reaches towards the back. Hug the elbows into the side body, keep a soft micro bend in the knees. We're going to inhale in, exhale, soften and fold. Great, good job. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale, step the right toes back, coming into runner's lunge. Front knee over front ankle, gaze is looking forwards. Pivot on the back foot, send the left hip crease back, hug the top of the left femur into the hip socket. Slowly swim the left fingertips to the inside edge of your left foot. Okay, so you can either stay here with both hands on the mat, or if you prefer, you can reach the right fingertips across the inside edge of the left arm across the chest and all the way up towards the sky. So take a moment here to stack the hips. Gaze is either looking down, slowly looking towards the side, or if you prefer, you can look up. Coming into triangle posture, Trikonasana. Or if you prefer, you can hover the left fingers off the mat. Careful not to grip in the toes. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to soften the front knee, rise up, right hand comes to rest gently on the outside edge of the right leg, reach the left fingertips up towards the sky, we're going to come into reverse triangle, gaze is looking up, 
inhale in exhaling one more time send the hips back we're going to come down into triangles so so send the left fingertips towards the mat they can either touch or hover whichever feels good for you and then when you're ready slowly reach the right fingertips up towards the sky and look up one more time coming into your trikonasana oh my gosh this feels amazing i hope this feels amazing for you too okay so when you're ready soften the front knee reach the right hand to the outside edge of the right leg reach the left fingertips up towards the sky coming into reverse triangle look up if that feels good for you exhaling we're going to soften the front knee and then we're going to bring the hips towards the front of the mat and we're going to come into warrior one virabhadrasana one so draw the shoulders away from the ears front knee over front ankle press into the outside edge of the back foot lengthen the tailbone down lift up from the pelvic floor and when you're ready we're going to reach the fingertips down forwards and up coming into warrior one okay great good job okay so when you're ready we're going to inhale in straighten the front leg careful not to lock the front knee rise up exhaling soften the front knee warrior one inhale rise up send the left hip crease back exhaling warrior one great good job okay so when you're ready we're going to send the right fingertips back and the left fingertips forwards we're going to come into warrior two virabhadrasana two so perhaps heel toe the back foot back very slightly to widen your stance send energy out through the fingertips draw the shoulders away from the ears send the shoulder blades down the back body engage the pelvic floor and really feel this posture perhaps send the little fingers back very slightly lean back into this posture okay so when you're ready we're going to inhale in exhaling we're going to come into extended side angle so the outside edge of the left forearm comes to rest gently on the top of the left thigh gaze is looking down then we're going to inhale reach the right fingertips forwards and up so now the arm is overhead coming to extended side angle Parshvakonasana press into the outside edge of the back foot feel that amazing energy from the right foot all the way up the outside edge of the right leg all the way to the right fingertips and then when you're ready we're going to inhale in exhaling slowly sending the palm back towards the back of the mat slowly paint your wall one more time reach the fingertips down inhale rise up one more time coming into extended side angle look up exhaling palm faces away from you slowly send the fingertips towards the back of the mat and then one more time reaching the arm forwards overhead coming to extended side angle inhaling exhaling slowly we're going to pivot on the back foot frame the front foot we're going to come one more time into low lunge front knee over front ankle plant the palm step the left toes back coming into plank posture so you can either come into plank or you can lower the knees for half plank okay so if you're in half plank gaze is looking forwards find length from the crown of the head to the tip of the tail okay so find strength in this posture careful not to lock the elbows gaze is looking down and find that beautiful long line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tail okay so when you're ready we're going to inhale shift forwards exhaling hug the elbows into the side body draw navel to spine slowly lowering down to the mat come up onto the tops of the feet okay so hug the elbows into the side body we're going to inhale slowly rise up just coming to baby cobra Adho Bhujangasana exhaling soften and fold inhale rise up keep the shoulders away from the ears press into the pubic bone exhaling soften and fold great good job we're going to curl the toes under you can press up to tabletop or plank whichever feels good for you inhaling and exhaling one more time sending your beautiful hips up and back into downward facing dog taking a moment here to spread the fingers out wide press into both hands evenly breathing into the backs of the legs the arms the shoulders finding more space within the body softening through the tongue the jaw and the mouth and taking a moment here to connect to beautiful and amazing you okay so when you're ready this time we're going to cross the right foot over the left 
the left foot over the right and slowly find your way up towards the front of the mat one more time coming into Uttanasana, forward fold. So feet can be hip width distance apart or together, whichever you prefer. Bend the knees as generally as you wish and perhaps this time take hold of opposite elbows. Press into both feet evenly, spreading the sits bones left to right. And then we're just going to slowly rock gently here from side to side. Relaxing through the face, the tongue, the jaw and the mouth. And taking a moment here to let go of anything that you no longer need. Okay, slowly release the fingertips towards the mat. Bend the knees as generous as you wish, bringing the belly to the tops of the thighs. So feel that connection between the belly and the tops of the thighs. And when you're ready, oh yes. Pressing into both feet evenly, we're gonna inhale, rise up one more time. We're gonna find our Urdhva Hastasana, our palm tree posture, reaching the fingertips up towards the sky, coming up onto the tiptoes, drawing the shoulder blades away from the ears and taking a moment here to lift the corners of the mouth and connect to beautiful, amazing you. And take a moment here to celebrate your beautiful body and life. Okay, so bring the palms together overhead. Exhaling, send the heels down, slowly come down through the midline. Forward fold. Inhale, rise up, coming into Urdhva Hastasana, palm tree posture. Come up onto the tiptoes, fingertips shine up towards the sky. Feel that engagement with your pelvic floor, draw navel to spine. Exhaling, slowly fold down, forward fold. This time we're going to bring the palms towards the shins. We're going to find our flat back position. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, tuck the chin in slightly. Find length from the crown of the head to the tip of the tail. Inhale in, exhale, soften and fold. Great good job. Okay, so this time we're going to inhale in, send the left toes back, coming into low lunge. Front knee over front ankle. Pivot on the back foot. Okay, and then we're going to swim the right fingertips around to the inside edge of the right foot, coming into tented fingers. Send the right hip crease back, plug the top of the right femur into the hip socket. And then you can either leave both hands on the ground here, or if you like, you can reach the left fingertips across the inside edge of the right arm, across the chest, all the way up to the sky. Careful not to lock in the front knee. Gaze is looking down, or you can look to the side or look up, coming into triangle posture, Trikonasana. Or if you prefer, you can hover the fingers if you want more of a connection to your core, your center. Inhaling, exhaling, we're gonna soften the front knee, slowly rise up, left hand comes onto the outside edge of the left leg. Reach the right fingertips up towards the sky, look up, I can't because it's very sunny here. <laughs> Coming into reverse triangle. Send the right hip crease back. Inhale in, exhaling one more time. We're gonna send the hips back. Careful not to lock the front knee. We're gonna come into Trikonasana, your version. Fingertips to the mat or hover. And then inhale in, reach the left fingertips up towards the sky one more time. Stack the hips, creating space in the left shoulder, the left armpit. And then look up if that feels good for you, if it's not too sunny where you are. <laughs> Inhaling, exhaling, soften the front knee one more time. Straighten the front leg and we're going to come into reverse triangle. Okay, so when you're ready, soften the front knee, slowly face forwards, reach the fingertips up towards the sky and we're going to find our warrior one on this side. Okay, so pressing into the outside edge of the back foot, lengthening the tailbone down, feeling the engagement with your pelvic floor. Feel that connection with the soles of your feet on the mat. Send the right hip crease back. And then when you're ready, we're gonna inhale, slowly straighten the front leg. Careful not to lock the front knee, rise up. Exhaling, soften down into warrior one. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling, warrior one, great, good job. This time we're gonna send the left fingertips back and the right fingertips forwards. Perhaps widen your stance very slightly here, sending the back foot back, front heel to back arch alignment. 
keeping the shoulders away from the ears, sending energy out through the fingertips, lengthening the tailbone down and really take a moment here to feel this posture because it feels amazing. I hope it feels good for you too. Really embody this posture on your birthday flow. Perhaps sending the little fingers back very slightly and taking a moment here to lean into this posture. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to inhale in, exhaling this time the outside edge of the right forearm, rest, rest gently on the top of the right thigh. Take a moment here to stack the hips. And then we're going to inhale, reach the left fingertips forwards and up, coming into extended side angle, Parshvakanasana. Feeling that beautiful line of energy from the left toes all the way up to the left fingers. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale in, exhaling, slowly sending the left palm back, slowly sending the left palm down. And then inhale, reach the left fingertips forwards and up. Exhaling, drawing a circle with your left fingertips down to the back. And one more time, forwards and up, coming into Parshvakanasana, extended side angle. Okay, we'll just do it one more time because it feels so good. So when you're ready, we're going to inhale in, exhale, paint a wall with our back hand, reach the fingertips down, forwards and up. And just take a moment here to feel this beautiful and amazing posture. Okay, so feeling that connection with your core and your center. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale in, exhaling, slowly come forwards. Pivot on the back foot, frame the front foot, coming into low lunge. So just take a moment here to check your alignment, front knee over front ankle, coming up onto the fingertips. Gaze is looking forwards. We're going to plant the palm, step the right toes back, coming into plank, or you can lower the knees for half plank. Okay, so spreading the fingers out wide, finding that clawing motion with your fingers. Gaze is looking down. Spiking the heels towards the back of the mat and finding that beautiful long line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tail. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to inhale, shift forward. Exhaling, hugging the elbows into the side body. Slowly lower down, draw the lower abdominals in. Coming up onto the tops of the feet. Okay, so when you're ready, pressing into the tops of the feet, you can either come up halfway into baby cobra or you can rise up, coming into Cobra posture, Bhujangasana, sending the tailbone towards the back of the mat, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, exhaling, soften and fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling to fold. Okay, great, good job. When you're ready, bring the legs together, pressing into the palms. We're going to inhale, slowly send the hips back. This time coming into child posture, Balasana. Swim the fingertips behind you. Inhale to look forwards. Exhaling slowly, sending the forehead towards the mat. Or you can find your hand pillow or fist, so whichever feels comfortable for you. And one more time, taking a moment here to breathe in love and peace and warmth into your beautiful body. Softening through the face, the tongue and the jaw. And one more time, taking a moment here to celebrate your body and life today. And giving thanks for this moment. Okay, so when you're ready, bring the palms to the sides of the knees. Press away from your foundation. Slowly rise up. Swing the legs round to any side of your choice. Okay, we're going to bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Feet are together. Knees are shining up towards the sky. Sit up nice and tall. Feel that engagement with the pelvic floor. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale in. Exhaling slowly, reach the right toes up towards the sky. Inhale in. Exhaling slowly, lower down. Inhale in. Exhaling this time, reaching the left toes towards the sky. If the leg doesn't straighten here, it doesn't matter. You can just find a micro bend in the knee here. So whichever feels good for you. Inhaling, exhaling, slowly lower down. We'll just do it one more time to each side. So inhaling, sitting up nice and tall. Exhaling, reach the right toes up towards the sky. 
One more time, connecting to your inner smile. Amazing and beautiful you. Inhaling, exhaling, slowly lowering down. Okay, so last time. Inhaling, exhaling, reach the left toes towards the sky. Exhaling, soften and fold. Okay, so this time, if you like, you can reach both toes up towards the sky. Okay, so when you're ready, we're inhaling, exhaling, pivot on the base of the spine and slowly reach the toes up towards the sky. Hug the inner thighs together. And just take a moment here to breathe into the backs of the legs, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, softening through the skin of the face. Inhaling, exhaling, slowly sending the feet towards the mat. Extend the legs out long, and this is the best bit. We get to lie down. <laughs> okay, so when you're ready, bring the hands to heart center. Toes are pointed. Reach the arms out in front, palms are together. Drawing the shoulders away from the ears, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna inhale in, exhaling, slowly lower down towards the mat. Vertebra by vertebra, feel engagement with your core. Inhale in, exhaling. Ah, we've arrived. <laughs> okay, so when you're ready, we're gonna inhale in, reach the fingertips up and back. And we're gonna find a full body stretch between fingertips and toes. Exhaling out through the mouth. One more time, inhale. Find a full body stretch. Exhaling to relax, great, good job. Okay, so this is a birthday flow, so I thought why not come into star posture? I don't know if you like star posture, but I love star posture, it feels amazing. So basically we just make the shape of a star, so send the legs out towards the sides and the arms too. And just take a moment here to own this space. Feeling the back of the body in contact with the mat and feeling the support of the earth beneath you. Taking a moment here to soften through the arms and the legs and feeling that beautiful stretch in the armpits, softening through the mouth, the tongue and the jaw, the feet. And just taking a moment here to relax. Allowing the breath to return till its natural ebb and flow. And one more time, just take a moment here to be. Softening through the feet, the legs, the pelvis. Relaxing through the belly, the chest. Softening through the palms and the arms. Tuck the chin in slightly to find length in the neck. And just take a moment here to let go. Letting go of any facial expression. Releasing the weight of the bones and the muscles into the ground. And just allow your body to be. Okay, so you can either stay here in star posture, feeling more and more relaxed, or if you like, slowly bring the hands to your third eye, the place of your Ajna Chakra, your inner teacher. And we're just gonna take a moment here to bow to each other. Inhaling, exhaling, namaste.